All right, we're here together in the UK, and we're just putting the finishing touches on this. We've never been so excited about a trick than we are about this product. This is Moser's Miracle Monty. I saw Wolfgang do this when I visited him in Austria, and that was it. It was done. We ha I had to have it to perform. This is my new closing piece when I'm doing strolling magic. I always wanted a three-card Monty effect. This is the one. It's it. It's over. I can't imagine there would be anything stronger than this with a three-card Monty genre. This is the trick we've both been performing for the last couple of months. If you've seen us at a convention, you will have probably seen us perform this. It's a lot of fun. It's a great Monty routine. And as you know with Vanish and Ink, we're not going to just show you highlights of the trick. We're not going to show you people going, wow, that's the best trick ever. We're actually just going to show you a full performance video of Wolfgang performing this great trick. So it's coming up now. Check it out. very special because this is not a magic trick okay uh, that's um, it's more like a game like a game of cards okay, okay it's, it's a, there's a little swindle involved also but just a little bit okay okay actually it's cheating but uh, I will I will show you how it works, uh, it's very simple uh, you just uh, need three cards to play this game okay the two black cards and the ace of hearts and you just have to follow where the ace is if you know where the ace is you win okay first we're gonna mix up the cards Face down, okay, so mix them very slowly like this. Okay. Now, if you would have to guess which one would you th think, I think, where is this? The one in the middle. Okay. Would you like to bet, let's say, 500 euro? No. No, okay. <laughs> oh, what a pity. You, you would have won, okay, but the first one is always uh, the easy one. Uh, we'll do it in slow motion this time. Okay, slow motion, watch the ace of hearts. Okay, slow motion. Okay, like this. Now, if you would have to guess, mm -hmm. what would you guess? This one. Sure? Mm -hmm. okay. Good thing. Good thing you didn't bet any money this time because uh, the ace is always bad. I know what you think. You think uh, I have three cards and you only have two eyes. Okay? So mm -hmm. this time uh, we'll get rid of one of the black cards. Okay? So we're just going to use these two. And to make it even more fair, I will mark the ace with the paper clip. Okay? So I put the paper clip on the ace like this. And now you just have to follow the paper clip, and then you will know where the ace is, right? Okay. So uh, if you would have to guess, which one would you think? This one. This one. This one. Mm -hmm. So you sure about this one? I'm so sure. What would you think? This one. This one too. <laughs> A lot of people say it's this one, but but you're right. You're right. See, the red one is always the one you never expect. It's um, the one on the table. <laughs> <laughs> just turn it over. You see oh there. my it's god. So <laughs> Maybe one last time. One last time. Uh, and this time, um, to make it absolutely sure, I will mark the ace itself, okay? So I'll take the ace and I will tear a corner of the card. Can you see? Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe the lighting is not too good here. Let's do it like this, okay? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so forget about the black cards, okay? The black cards are just to confuse you. Now, it's very simple because this time we have proof, we have evidence which one is the ace, okay? Which one is the ace? This one. Right, okay? Now, even if I get rid of the evidence, um, the proof remains, okay? Sure. We have still a missing corner. Even if I mix up the cards, yeah. now, be honest, you, now you would bet every money you have on of this course. card, right? You would? <laughs> really? Sure. You Really? Okay, oh, should I not be sure? No? <laughs> <laughs> you should never be sure because at the end, Ace is always where we never expect it.